Hi everyone, welcome back to the Zero to One Code. My name is Vishnu Kumar, and this video is part of the new series uh, on the Omni Studio. We will be covering the advanced topic in this series from the Omni Studio itself. So, in today's sessions, we are going to talk about the HTTP action uh, that we have in integration procedure, and we will be doing the two kind of calls through this like one would be the post and one would be the uh, get call uh, we will be utilizing whatsapp api and chuck norris api uh, for our examples so to start with the whatsapp api what we need to do is we need to set up the uh, facebook app and for chuck norris we don't need anything to do that uh, it's just a simple and unauthenticated api that we can use uh, directly so let's get started. So first we need to set up the Facebook app uh, for the WhatsApp API. So what we will be doing is we will be creating an app on the uh, Facebook. So again, this video is not about how we are configuring and setting up the entire Facebook uh, app, right? But still we will be covering very basic, right? And I am not like meta expert in the Facebook and WhatsApp API. So to get started, I we will be creating and clicking on this link and I, I'll, I'll put this document in the description of the video so you can go it here okay so i already did create one of the app right and uh, it's a pretty simple like you go to this org you log in through the facebook you click on create app you select business here next and so i'm going to call it like omni studio demo and we have email address and business account uh, let's say we are not setting up now create app so you need to provide the password okay once you create the app right it will ask you to set up the product that you want to utilize so we are going to apply the whatsapp here click on setup and assuming that we don't have any business account and uh, for testing purpose we will just go with the default option create a business account click on continue so as, and you, as soon as you click on the continue right you will be getting this temporary access token and you will be also um, seeing the option to select the phone number where you want to send the message out so right now there are no phone number right and to execute this you will be required to have a one phone number at least right uh, so for a temporary purpose I'll put my number here so as soon as you do that you will be receiving the uh, OTP on your whatsapp okay, click on next Okay, so we have set up this and we just need to utilize this API, nothing else, okay? So this is all, all good here and we will be utilizing as I said for the post call and then for the get call, we have another link here and it's a, a non-authenticated call. So we will utilize the uh, API call directly as it is. I'll be adding this uh, document in the uh, uh, description of the video as well. Okay, so now the second piece is let's jump into the our org and let's start creating the integration procedure. So now we are in the Salesforce org and I'm going to click on new and we'll create a IP call HTTP action get post example. Okay, we'll add the same in type and subtype as well. Let's save it. So here I'm going to put one HTTP action and we'll call it WhatsApp post action. Okay, and we will also need one set value. Okay, so I'm going to put one set value here to configure our WhatsApp body. So we are creating another step, WhatsApp SMS, or, or I'll call it message body. Here, 
we'll create a response here we are going to create a element type body okay and if i go back to the uh, facebook document uh, we can see the message here so i'm going to utilize the message as it is okay not making any kind of changes here uh, so here i will click on edit as json and this is the body piece that we have here and i will paste um, the body that we want to send right so what it has like if you see it's a messaging product right so it's a totally payload right it can be different for uh, other apis that you are calling okay so add it in property back to this okay so we have our uh, body all good here let's go back to the post action okay so if we go back to the document we see this api that we need to hit right okay so i'm going to provide the http path here and the method that we need to utilize is post so in capital post uh, if we had the name credential we can utilize that but uh, as we are doing directly from here so we are not utilizing the name credential here and obviously as we are calling it from the salesforce we have to set up this url um, in our remote site setting okay so we'll go to the setup uh, we are going to add a new remote site setting we are and whatsapp api save it okay i'm going to remove this all good so we have remote action now so we have post now we need to configure these headers and so we have two headers here uh, one is authorization another is a content type okay so i'll copy this authorization we'll go back to here rest option we are going to add header authorization then we have another header called content type okay so our content type is application json so i'm going to put this as a rest and then uh, we have our authorization so that's our authorization key i'll copy it and put it here as it is okay this checkbox it also check right it says that okay whenever we are calling this we need to send out the body along with it right okay to send out the body of call right we don't have other fields as such mentioned specifically for the body right we have headers we have params but we don't have anything for body so how it works is so whatever you are sending in the json path right it will be going there okay so in our case our uh, body is stored in whatsapp message body and then we have body uh, variable okay so what i'm going to do is i'll go here i'll put something like this so send whatever we have in this okay so this is all set up uh, all done okay cool let's go and preview it so i'm going to click on execute so as soon as i hit the execute and if i go back to the, my whatsapp you will see that we just received the message and this is a templated message uh, again like you can change a lot of things here right you can add a buttons right so those are things um, that you need to uh, figure out from the document of the facebook and whatsapp api i'm not covering that part so we just did the post example now we are going to do the get example okay here i'm going to put another http action and this would be chuck Norris get action okay so straightforward the path is like this one okay, i'll copy paste here and similar thing we have to create the uh, remote site settings so i'll go here again i'll create a new remote site and we we'll add it here chuck this api okay so this is all good and we will be utilizing get method okay we don't have any headers here and then we can add the parameters so if you go here there is an api right where you are utilizing this path but 
for the categories you can utilize any of the category just look at the all the available categories you can just simply click on it it will show you all the available categories okay so i'll go back here category and from here i'll pick any of the categories so for example i'll pick the dev here i have added as a value okay so i'll disable the whatsapp post action because we don't want the messages coming out and i'll go back to the preview and click on execute so you'll see this right uh, if i go here chuck norris debug we have this endpoint getting executed and if you look at the response uh, we got this response like value url updated at right again we don't want everything right so we, we can utilize send and response transformation here so i'll go back here so if you see this right so response json path right so what we need is value node and we want to call or like rename this uh, this node as a new node okay so i'll call it like a new job okay so we have this variable and i will also return this new job back okay so we have this response action so i'll call it just response here we will utilize joke and here we will have new joke node so whatever we got uh, from the this api we are just keeping the value and that value is getting in the new new node called new joke and then we are utilizing that new node here and we are returning as a response section so if i go back and hit the preview we should able to see this right so joke and this is joke and if i click on execute so this api is pretty cool right it gives you random jokes uh, so if i click on execute we have another joke we have another joke something like that. okay straightforward um, again a very powerful tool how uh, like so you here we haven't coded a single line, right? Uh, and we are able to make the integration calls um, from this IP. So that's it for this video. Uh, we'll see you in the next uh, session. So if you're a beginner, right? Uh, so I have created an entire series for the Omni Studio beginner tutorials. Please go there and watch out. And please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.